Well, the final validation has come in to validate that Brandon Biggs is a false teacher. And I'm going to show you at the end of the video as we progress and argue my case. So stay with me because I come to the conclusion based upon what I saw with the video he released yesterday that Brandon Biggs is either a Christian nationalist or a white nationalist. And before you try to attack me, I'm not, I'm, this channel, we don't deal in realm and racism and things like that. These are two separate entities, but very similar in very cases. So let me argue my case. And as you see here in the thumbnail, that's the video that he released yesterday. Let's listen to this, the beginning of it. Hey, good morning, family. Boy, do I have a treat for you today. I have brought on a special guest, Bo Poloni, and I am so excited. He has a presentation for you all. Man, he's going to talk to you about how prophetic words out of two or, or three mouths, let every word be established, how words go together. You know, God is not a weird God that has one word for somebody else and another word for somebody else that they don't line up with each other. If it's truly God, I believe the words flow Channel's together. Name, Bo, so they can find you. I want them to be able to find you. Website, again, thank you for allowing me to be here. It's a pleasure to meet you for the first time face-to-face. -face. We have spoken over a year ago, and that was a pleasure. Um, the time I first saw one of your first videos, I got to say, like you said, when you hear the word of the Lord, you know. Mm -hmm. It comes from the same source. And when I heard your prophecies a, a year, year and a half ago, whatever it was, you were, or God was speaking directly through you. As you see there, he's introducing and talking about Bo Pelani. Bo Pelani, I made a video on Bo Pelani a couple years back, and oh, he got mad. He came and attacked me for calling him out. Because Bo Pelani is a, a, what you would call a new age numerologist person in this modern era, a modern new numerology person. He delves in the realm of cryptocurrencies, gold, silver, all of these different things and try to get people to get involved in this. And if you don't uh, uh, have any type of wisdom of anything like that, uh, as far as following this guy, oh, you might find yourself bankrupt and lose all your money. But Bo Planani, this guy is involved with another false teacher, fake Dr. Manuel Johnson, as you see here in the thumbnail. He's a false teacher. And let me show you how he's a false teacher. Take a look. We had to go to Rush Mountain. And I do show a picture there because it has something to do with our president, Donald Trump. Saints, I'm telling you, his face may not be carved there in stone, but it is carved there in the spirit. Mm. Wow. It is carved there in the spirit. Now, as you see that, he's elevating. That's just a short clip. They all together. But that's a clip. He's saying that Trump is in the spirit. They're on Mount Rushmore. And one thing that all of these people have in common, they all worship Donald Trump. They all worship Donald Trump. They all make give dates. That uh, uh, certain things that never come to pass. And I'm going to give you my argument at the end of why, even though Brandon Biggs made this so-called prophecy about the president have, uh, being shot, I'm going to show you that it wasn't of God in the end. So stick with me as we continue to argue the case of why this guy's a fraud. So why, if Brandon Biggs is this great man of God, why is he involved with Bo Pelanani? Bo, if you saw there in the clip, they said they talked briefly or something for about a year ago. What are you delving with these types of people like? And as you see, Bo is always on Dr. Manuel Johnson's channel. And then Manuel Johnson, he's involved with this person. You in this, I will not leave you without. And I have already provided everything you have needed and you will see it miraculously yes. come forth mm -hmm. in, this, in this season, says the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise the 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 Lord. Praise
And he is going to give you the finances before you even need them. So you just call it in. As you can see, Amanda Grace and Timothy Dixon and all of them, Julie Green, they're all false teachers. They're all together. And this word, and, and one thing they all have in common, they worship Donald Trump. They have elevated him above the Messiah or Jesus Christ. And that's all they, their ministries have been built up based upon that. So how ironic, you know, what was Brandon Biggs? Why was it, you know, he's talking about Trump to begin with? Because he's right along with them. Like I said, he's either a Christian nationalist or a white nationalist. I hope he's not the white nationalist part, but you know, there's a definition for that because there's others because they're, they're intertwined. For those of you that may not understand with the, the Christian nationalists or white nationalists, you know, they, 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 they want Christian to uh, dome to involve the government. You know, the Ku Klux Klan wanted the same. They said that they were Christian. And they wanted uh, uh, their uh, their ideology of Christianity, as I say on this channel, a perverted version of Christianity in all the realms of society. But what are you elevating Trump so much like that? Why are you hanging with these people, Brandon Biggs? See, this is right here. If you don't see the picture, then this, this, if you don't see the picture, you, you're spiritually blind. The Lord is exposing these types of people. These types of ministries, these types of pastors, these churches that have been way off course, diving in and delving into politics and being all involved with all various arrow, everything else, worried about everything else when their whole inside of their church realm is rotten to the core, where you've got pastors sleeping with prison. If my brother, and many of you know him, Edgar Wolf, had not approached me, just two weeks ago with what he had seen as a teenager that bothered him all these years. His pastor in bed with his younger sister, a t-shirt and underwear on. People knew but were too afraid to come forward and they have now. The lies and the manipulation have to stop. I was a prisoner and you kept me in your prison. I'm a prisoner no longer. I was just 16 when you took my virginity on your office floor. Pastors messing with little kids. Pastors doing all kind of stuff and, 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 the, and the congregation knows about it and hides it and covers it up. And all of this is going on within the realms of the churches. People stealing money. People that's, I mean, you can name it and name it. And they, all of this has been going on and on. Messages, Bible studies, the scriptures have been tossed to the side. They're just more so want to teach politics, teach other types of new age uh, 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 theologies and all types of different things. But yet somehow these types of people, the Brandon Biggses and these other types of people that you see online, they they so worried about a politician trying to fit society when in reality they the church is so dysfunctional and rotten to the core that the focus needs to be from within. That's what needs to be going on. How are you going to worry about fixing everything going on in society that some of these people are trying to do when you're right there within the doors of the church is rotten? You got pastors that are standing in pulpits that, as I continue to say, that were never called to begin with. They just decided to go down this realm so that they can have control over people, so that they can get gain money and fortune and fame. There's all types of motives. But one thing, they're not called. They're not called. Many of them are not called. And many of you have no business walking through the doors of some of these tent services, some of these conferences, some of these, uh, uh, these events that are going on. Bo Planani, he's part of this reawakening stuff this reawakening and all of that clay clark if those of you that may not be aware this is nothing but a bunch of conspiracy based people that are involved in a whole lot of conspiracies whole lot of lies and most of all they worship trump and as i before i get to brandon biggs to make the argument about him to put the nail in the coffin of why this guy is not hearing from god Look at this bold planetary. This is when I called him out. 
This was just a couple, few years ago, 2022. This is a clip where he's, as many of these other doomsday people, wishing death. And it's always on Democratic people. It's always, or anybody that doesn't go along with their ideology. He does these events, always talking about gold, always talking about silver and this or that. But he made the claim that it was going to go dark. Because that was back when everyone was claiming it was going to be this major blackout throughout the whole nation. And, and you weren't going to be able to use your bank cards and all of this stuff that was going to happen. And they were saying that Trump was going to be installed. You know, right at 2021, after that, you, these so-called self-proclaimed prophets started saying Trump was going to be back in office once the Supreme Court overturned everything. And the Supreme Court gave this case. They bought all the cases and it was proven that Trump's a liar. And we know it's a liar. If you listen to you dive in deep and get into what the uh, investigations of all of that, and you will follow the trails with all everybody that was in his administration that was involved in trying in a conspiratorial trying China overthrow the government. And that's why I made that video that Christians want you ask Trump to step aside. Because this man is a felon, he's a treasonous, and he has no, I, he shouldn't even be allowed to run because you and I, when we were felons, we would not be allowed to run or do anything, especially the highest office in the land when you had other people like Asa Hutchison. You ran John Kasich off, which was a nice moderate co uh, uh, conservative. You laughed at him. You ran people out of the party all because you're worried about your own agenda and not worried about anybody else. And you can care less about souls. So that's the truth on that. But he sat there, this Bo Planani sat there and, and all of the so-called prophets, or all of they call themselves prophets, they kept moving the date back. March, he'll be back in March, June. The Lord said he'll be there. And they kept moving the goalposts, moving the goalposts. So this clip right here shows you the goalposts was supposed to happen and it was going to go light and it was going to go dark Why he's wishing death. And all of a sudden, Trump is going to be back in office. Take a look. What's about to happen is historic. This year, we're going to see silver easily shoot to $60, then go to $140, then go to $600. We're going to see historic price moves for precious metals into next year. Because why? We are heading into the third seal. We're about to witness the third seal of Revelation, the financial rebalancing. The angel of death is coming to visit these people. These people are going down. These people who control the world think that they are pharaohs, the present day pharaohs. Soon you shall never see again. This is coming with the greatest wealth transfer in human history. Gold and silver are going to explode in value, giving wealth to the church, to you. So then you can prosper all those around you because everything when God's kingdom comes in abundance and overflow are about to be blessed beyond measure. We are here. Dark day. We're going to go dark, and when the lights come on, worldwide celebrations are coming. We are going to see the return this year. 45 comes back, not by his will, but by God's will. God's will shall be done. God gets all the glory. God bless you. We are. And as you see there, that's him on a stage talking nonsense. There is no darkness and Trump still not installed. And some of these people are so way out there anymore that have dived into conspiracy so much that they believe that he's actually the president right now. They believe that he's actually controlling the military. And, and, and I mean, some of the stuff that these people believe, like I say, some of these people on a serious level need to go seek some professional mental health count, uh, uh, help because some of these stuff. It's unbelievable that you can, you believe that? You think that? I mean, where is that coming from? I mean, goodness sakes. I mean, some of these people are way out there. But this is Bo. And he done had these things and this stuff gets brushed off. And he just continues on. And people will continue to follow these people in frauds and listen to this stuff. Which shows us, church, how deceived people are. It shows us how deceived people are. And I, I, I gotta, I want to get the book um, for you to see. Uh, hold on, I'm going to get the book. I'm gonna pause the video and restart it back up. I want you to have a book for many of you that some of you've already bought this book, but some of you that it will help you greatly. Okay, video will start it back up. But this is the book 
that some of you have already purchased that told me you've purchased. When I first got saved, I spent all of my time in 1992 in the, in the Christian bookstores and things like that. And when this came out, when I found this, it's called Angels of the Sea. You can still find this on Amazon. Ed Henson, and uh, he's passed away uh, a few years ago there, and Dr. Richard Lee. And it talks about the how you, one can fall into the web of deception, the stages of how the devil takes you to do these stages, how deception, how people that are really searching for the truth don't intend it on being deceived, but how they end up being deceived. And then it goes through some of the various religions. Uh, it stops at David Koresh, so that shows you how far, I think at David Koresh, how far it goes back uh, as far as how old the book is. But right there, you see, you get a history, a le brief lesson on the Mormons. And that goes for people that claim they're speaking to angels and things like that because the Mormon religion. And as I said in the first Brandon Biggs video, speaking to angels and all of that led to a false religion, which has millions. So if that's a book, something that I would recommend for many of you out there so that you can understand and share it with your family members, share it with your friends. Share you so that way, because this thing has gotten so out of control. Now let's get to Brandon Biggs and his so-called prophecy about the ear and this dream. Oh, he said the eardrum was busted. Then he went came back and corrected that and this and that. Some pieces and things are off. Well, do you remember when Job, this the book of Job, and when Satan and, G and the God had the conversation and Satan more so said, only reason why he's worshiping you is because he's got health and wealth and this or that. Take that away. Oh, he will curse you and things like that. And sure enough, with God's permission, the devil came along and wiped out his flock, his, 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 you know, his, his, his livelihood with his, uh, you know, his, uh, you know, his livelihood, all of his oxen and everything like that, you know, family, you know, health, we came, all of these attacks came from Satan. And, but you know, the Lord, so which that lets us know as believers that when it comes to being attacked and things like that, that Satan can't just have free reign and do what he wants to do. Now there is a grace that we're under this period of grace that there's times just like I, before I was saved, and some of you may be out there, before I was saved, I was acting a fool and should have been dead. Plenty of times, especially when I was out in the street selling drugs and acting a fool, and I almost lost my life four times. And that was nothing but the Lord showing me, giving me grace and, and showing mercy towards me. And unfortunately, I went to him. And with Brandon Biggs, what is, so if the, if the devil can bring about sickness, if he can bring about even death, if he can do some of these things, that lets us know that he can attack us. Satan has his de de demons, his, his fallen angels, those that work for him. So if he is on the move, as the scripture says, going to and fro, and, and he's seeking whom he can devour, as the scripture says, and all of these things, he's always up to something and things. So if he had a plan, to take out Mr. Trump. And that plan is known because his demons that work for him is carrying it out. And what I've said over the time from the channel, many of these people, they're not hearing from God. They are hearing from demons is what they're hearing from. So what they think that they're hearing from God is familiar spirit. It's not of God. So, yeah, Brandon Biggs may have thought he got a word from God, but he actually got a word from the devil because the devil knew what he was going to do. And we don't know as you know, there's no evidence. As I say, there's no evidence that Mr. Trump is saved. He's been talking all of that for years now. He's had 10 years to show evidence of fruit since 2015 there. He's had plenty of time to show fruits of the spirit, and it's nowhere near there. So there's no evidence as far as I know. So that's, you know, but it could have been a wake-up call, just like how it was for me, for him to be like, you know, you better get your life right because it can end just like that. That could have been the message and things. So Brandon Biggs, 
from what I believe based upon the simple fact that he's delving around with other false teachers that are hearing from demons themselves. They're all together. They're not elevating the, they're, they're talking. Yeah, they'll talk all about Jesus and this and that. The devil talk, as we talked about in the video, the devil did the same thing. He can talk. The devil, as my pastor said, the devil comes to church every Sunday and he sits on the front row. He's there. He's in the choir. He's in the business meetings. He's everywhere. He's hanging out because his goal is to, to destroy the church from within. And he's utilized these Christian nationalists, these, these nationalists and, and all of these masqueraders. He's used them all to destroy the testimony of the church. And that's who he's hearing from. So no wonder it's all twisty and wishy-washy, this story of the ear thing. Yeah, the devil had a plan and that's what he was carrying out because the demons told him. And, and, and we know that when God is doing things, it's not going to be wishy-washy. When the Holy Spirit is doing things, it's not going to be wishy-washy. The word of God is truth. The word of God is what we stand on. We don't stand on people and elevate people to Messiah-like statuses. We don't get caught up into somebody that can have us lose our, 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 our financial uh, earnings over the years, listening to Bo Blananis and getting involved in cryptos and all of these things and lose our money and lose it all. Don't you know there's a lady that the FBI is looking for right now that has milked people for billions of dollars off of cryptocurrency there she's on the run they, and, and she's in the the only like the third woman or something or, or i don't know how many not the, I, I can't remember but she's one of the few women to ever be on the fbi's 10 most wanted list for scamming people and things so you know guard your heart guard yourself because this the devil has stepped it up like never before but one thing i know you continue to resist him, as the scripture tell us, and he will flee. And that's the problem with many of these people out here. They have not resisted him. Their ears are so itching so bad that they go to run to any and everything, to hear any and everything. And react when they need to stop it and things. And stop trying to listen to people that's telling you all of these things you want to hear and things. Trump is not anointed by God to save anything. He's not, a, you know, there's only one person that does the saving and that is Jesus Christ and his death and the burial resurrection and the fact that he left us the Holy Spirit to go before us and to help us do the work and, uh, and, and preach the gospel and allow that to permeate and plant the seeds. And that's what it's all about. It's not about trying to put some man that is no different than me or you because we all are flawed. All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And we have no power to change nobody's heart to do anything. Only the Holy Spirit can do it. We'll continue to call it out on this channel. We'll continue to take the devil head on, punch him right in between the chops. Evangelism for God is the channel. Until the next video, my friends, take care. God bless.